October 16th. You guys notice how I said, you know, since I spoke it against this Illuminati stuff, um, how these people are supposedly exposing them while they're twisting the word of God. And I told you to avoid them at all costs. The only thing you should be seeking is in the written word of God. That's it. But, uh, like this person I was dealing with yesterday trying to give me this silver coin that was all bent. And she had Bibles in the back seat of her car, but I'd never seen her hand out one. Like I said, they'll disguise themselves. And, uh, thing is, I got away from that person, and then, uh, it felt like I was being attacked by the same person. Almost all day. By the same person. Texting. Constantly. And there's more text right now. I've asked her to stop. Please stop. I've asked politely, kind a bunch. They won't stop. I delete their number. I'm just not even going to reply. I just delete them. I don't even read what they're saying no more because it's been... Um, they just, what they do is they accuse you all the time, accuse you. And, uh, that's what the, uh, devil did with God. He was the accuser, constantly accusing. People have no idea what's about to happen. This place is about to be destroyed. And, uh, I was in, uh, Walmart getting me an air mattress to put underneath my uh, sleeping bag because I'm going to be sleeping on a concrete pad but uh I tried sharing with two other people in there um in Atlanta in the uh Walmart I've been with anybody and everybody I can and uh I'm running across a lot of people that just don't want to believe yeah they just don't want to believe or they just you know act like you know, they're busy. They ain't got time for this. It's nonsense. I believe that's why I had that dream where everybody had little horns on their heads. And what I'm going to ask you to do is don't do any bickering. I can't see. I notice where some people are arguing with people that are on my channel. They're on every channel. And this is what they do. And what what their plans are is to to keep doing. All they want to do is bicker. They don't let up. Then they're going to come back and accuse you of being the one that started it all. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like don't respond to them. Don't even respond to them because it's like it's never ending. It's like putting fuel on a fire. That's the best way that I can describe it. I think Jesus said to kick the dust off your shoes and to take your peace with you. I'm going underneath the bridge right now here in Atlanta. Well, it's, this, this is going to be toast too. Like I said, everything's getting ready to be uh, history. You know, it's going to be toast. Toast. Literally burnt toast. This is going to get... Yeah, I had a vision about that too. See, I've pretty much seen everything that's getting ready to happen. And, uh, I believe this is through. I'm going to go find me a camping spot. It's by a river. And, uh, just set up the tent. And I'm just going to sit there and get into the Word of God. And I got a little bit of money where I can probably do some short videos, buying some data. But, you know, like I said, I don't know how far that's going to go. Um, I got like $60 I got for data you know we'll see how far that goes like I said I gotta keep these videos short and uh, get ready just be ready cause this is it we're getting ready to go home my main message is to tell your friends too don't be deceived by these people that say they're exposing the Illuminati because if if they would be shot in the head if they did not want these secrets out. But if you notice while they're doing it, these clever things, at the same time, they're getting real clever about the Word of God, showing what the meanings are in there too, 
but it's got nothing to do what's written in the Word of God. You see what I'm saying? They're twisting it. And people, if you get caught following these people, and you're believing them, when you should be believing in Jesus Christ, believing that what he did on the cross was for your salvation. See, they want you believing in all their lies and deceit when you're seeking signs in the wrong places. Everything you need to know is in the Word of God. God bless you, and I hope and pray that you guys can uh, understand what I'm trying to tell you. This is We're so close right now to going home, man, and, and I feel a strong urgency. I'm putting aside all their little accusations. They're constantly, they never let up. I don't care what the important thing is, is to know what Jesus Christ did on the cross. They can say what they want to say about me. I don't care. Focus on Jesus Christ, okay? We're getting ready to go home, man. He's, he's going to redeem us, okay? Don't let them, the foolish are going to be following these people's little signs. And they're liars. God bless you.